Welcome back everyone. This is a brief update on news from the oil market. The Energy Information Administration yesterday indicated its fourth consecutive drawdown once again overwhelming market expectations. This time the drawdown was at minus 6.9 million barrels, much wider than the forecasted figure and wider than the previous week's reading. However, very surprisingly crude oil prices dropped just after the release on the news, which indicates some other factors may have influenced the market to move downwards. Yesterday, in the European afternoon, the monthly OPEC report was released. Most definitely, we consider the OPEC report as much more important compared to the weekly EIA reading, as the information provided is in depth and for this reason could prove much more useful to traders. Generally speaking, oil followers use this important information to form all sorts of decisions. To start with, among the many observations we made going through the report, our emphasis turned to information regarding oil demand for 2019. We were aware from previous months that financial institutions and well-known banks had revised oil demand downwards throughout 2019. The OPEC report basically reaffirmed the situation. Oil demand is a significant driver for oil prices. Another important message obtained from OPEC's monthly report was regarding a general view on global oil supply. It was noted that countries like Russia and Canada are forecasted to increase output, while the US had a forecasted reduction. These messages could be perceived as quite strong by the majority of oil followers and may have contributed to the selling yesterday. On a separate note, observing crude oil prices solely for 2019, it is obvious that the commodity price action has been rather stable. Looking at where the prices were in January 2019 and where they currently are, not much difference is found. So in our view, the OPEC plus group has managed to stabilize crude oil prices, which was amid their top objectives. They have removed big fluctuations in prices, and one could also say they are storming out a US Sino trade war, which is significantly affecting the oil market. However, where they may have failed is the actual price range the commodity has been moving within, being rather low. Pricing may be hard to control for the OPEC plus group, as the overproduction in the US has sent prices lower and countering the matter may be very challenging for the OPEC plus team. Also, other reports stated the US has become the top oil world exporter, surpassing Saudi Arabia. Shell production in the US has reached a certain high level that enabled the US to take over. We must note, however, that the Saudis have been making constant financial moves, investing in many countries and immersing themselves deeper in the oil market. So even though the head oil exporting country is the US currently, the Saudis may also be included in the total effort. For more in-depth investigation, please refer to our written report, which also includes technical analysis. For more information and trading ideas, you can visit our webpage Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Angelo Zitis from RNFX, wishing you solid trading.